Do you want me to explain what I'm doing? Please. Just... I'm be <laughs> so we're taking some JB Weld, used on auto parts, mm -hmm. two-part epoxy, super strong. Why do we like JB Weld? Number one, it's non-toxic. It's, uh, it does not, I don't think it has an exothermic reaction, so it doesn't create heat. Um, I like that it's two colors, so you can tell exactly how well it's mixed, and if you've used enough or too much of one part, rather than the other, you know what color it's supposed to look like once they mix. <coughs> Excuse me, it's sandable. So if you put some on, if it gets somewhere you don't like, if it squeezes out of a corner, you can just smooth it out. What I like to do is apply a bunch, a healthy dose, right inside the butt cap, and I just swirl it all around and make sure that all the possible surfaces that are gonna touch the handle are covered. So we're just trying to get in there and just so is it, smear question, it. Which I'm sure you're gonna cover. What's the, um, what's it called, process time as far as hardening? Great question. Uh, I usually tell people 24 hours. I think it actually technically is sooner than that. But I always tell people, uh, my rule of thumb is I tell people, give me three days to do it. And it almost never takes me more than a day, but it gives me A, a little wiggle room on my schedule to carve out the time to complete it start to finish. And then it also, um, I, I still have a full 24 hours to let it cure. And then if I need to sand it, if I need to smooth it out, if I gotta, I haven't had to do any adjustments or fixes before, but it gives me some time to. Now once on there, um, you ever had a hard time taking it out or do you have, I mean, like I say. I mean, you, you do bring up a great point, Smitty, which is once you do this, mm. it's not going anywhere. Okay, so that's that's it. So <laughs> it's, it's a part of the. It's not, I mean, there are some two-part epoxies that if you got on your hands, it would be bad. Mm. And this <laughs> is not one of them. I can wipe it off easy. And, and for those uh, super. Now, pro, if I may, pro tip, you got to make sure you put the back butt cap on <laughs> the right way that. again. You um, can't just be slapping butt caps all over the place. I guarantee yeah, somebody's gonna be like, well, if you put that in there, uh, doesn't it change the swing weight a little bit? Sure, you know, uh, sure. everything changes the weight. If you blow a booger <laughs> on your racket, it changes the weight. That's right, so why I always wipe my boogers elsewhere. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> on the throat. <laughs>